If you've ever walked the stony shores of Michigan, you've probably encountered these stones. The story of our state stone goes back farther than you'd imagine, though. Petoskey stones are fossils that were formed 350 million years ago. Let's dust off the ancient origins of the state stone in this Michigan moment. Our story starts in the Devonian age, when Michigan was, for the most part, underwater. Due to continental drift, Michigan was much closer to the equator, and the water was teeming with ancient life. One of these life forms was Hexagonoria, a coral that flourished in the shallow, sunny waters of this age. They ate plankton from the water and used little tentacles to draw their food into their mouths. As the ages went on, these creatures lost their habitat and were fossilized into the bedrock. Two million years ago, during the Pleistocene era, glaciers expanded across our landscape, and while carving out our state's famous shape, they also plucked these fossils from the bedrock and spread them all over the Midwest. When you find them on the ground, they look like this. A bit dull, and you could overlook them easily. But look closely for the hexagon cells, which are the key indicator of this stone. And if you use some sandpaper, a soft towel, and some water, you could end up with a well-polished and beautiful piece of history. So if the coral is called Hexagonoria, why is it called a Petoskey stone? Well, the stone is named after Petoskey, Michigan, where the stones have been found for centuries. But what does Petoskey mean? It goes back to an 18th century tale of a fur trader who married an Ottawa woman and became chief of the tribe. His son, a half French, half Ottawa boy, was named Petoskey, meaning shining sun, or more directly, sunbeams of promise. Tassigay later became chief himself, and the town was later named after him in the more English-friendly Petoskey. Special thanks to the University of Michigan Museum of Paleontology for all the information you have available. If you like this episode and want to see more, leave us a comment on what you'd like to see in the next Michigan Moment.